Several law enforcement agencies across the state are ramping up patrols this holiday weekend. CBS 4's Michael Van Skoik explains how police will be cracking down on drunk drivers tonight and all through the weekend. Well, some might refer to Thanksgiving Eve as Drinksgiving or Blackout Wednesday, which is exactly why Indiana law enforcement plan to be out in droves all across busy highways and city streets. Historically, that's a high DUI night for us, and so uh, we're going to be out there to intercept those drunk drivers starting Wednesday night. As drivers hit the road this holiday weekend, state police already have Marion County checkpoints locked down and ready to go. So it's all hands on deck for us. Our troopers are not taking the holiday off. We're going to have plenty of troopers out working, increasing those patrols to make sure people can drive safely. Federal data shows nearly 140 drivers were involved in deadly alcohol impaired crashes on Thanksgiving Eve between 2017 and 2021. Here in Indiana, local police say it's important for any driver to keep an extra eye out. We encourage anyone um, that where they think they may see an impaired driver, whether they're um, not maintaining their lane or speeding and reckless driving. We encourage you to dial 911. IMPD is also teaming up with state police and other agencies starting Wednesday. They'll be out on city streets and highways and not just after dark. Our DUI unit and our officers are out during the day actually looking for impaired drivers as well too. So it's not just a thing where we're out late at night or in the early morning hours. We're out through, throughout the day as well too. Law enforcement also say drivers need to just be prepared for busy roadways this weekend. If you're going to be traveling, if you're going anywhere, whether it's uh, to the next city to do some shopping or across the state to visit some family, there's going to be traffic, there's going to be cars, there's going to be a lot of people out, so just anticipate that. And of course, there's still bound to be construction, so drivers should keep that in mind too. State police say you can track real-time traffic updates on INDOT's website. We have all that information on our website at cbs4indy.com. In Indianapolis, I'm Michael Van Skoik. Law enforcement in Boone and Hamilton counties also announced extra patrols this weekend. You can read more about all the efforts to keep the roads safe on cbs4indy.com.